Basics of the Class B Amplifier in Video Animation. It's an effective way to send current back and forth through a load such as a speaker by using a bipolar supply and connecting the load to a center zero ground. Here the NPN transistor is on the top. The PNP transistor is at the bottom. The input signal itself is the bias current through the transistors. When the input signal is near the zero crossing, it is insufficient to turn on the transistor. This results in a momentary null state through the load, and if it's an audio signal, it will result in crossover distortion or null distortion. This type of transistor amplifier makes conservative use of battery power if you don't mind the low fidelity. With a bit of work, the biasing arrangement can be improved so as to obtain high fidelity. Here we have switched the positions of the transistors. Nothing else is changed. You won't see this configuration used very much, for obvious reasons. This layout still uses the input signal to supply most of the bias current. This time, however, there are current limiting resistors installed in the bias wires. Since there is no load in the emitter leg of the transistors, it permits greater current gain. There is some inefficiency of power usage here, because the transistors are sometimes on simultaneously. Nevertheless, this is a way to greatly reduce crossover distortion. Signal volume can be adjusted by changing the value of the input resistor, or a potentiometer can be used, which is referenced to the center zero ground. Just to see what happens, Here's an experiment where both the transistors are NPN type. Only the lower transistor ever turns on. This arrangement uses two PNP transistors. Only the upper transistor ever turns on.